Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today I'm making a shelf liner cross wreath with sparkle mesh fabric. The camera does not do this wreath justice. I wish you could see it in person. Let's get started. For this shelf liner, I'm going to be using a minimum of six of these shelf liners. Usually it takes six for a round wreath, but because this is a cross wreath, it's going to probably take me a little bit more. I'm thinking about seven rolls, but I'll let you know in the description box. We are also going to be using a fabric. Now here you can see the fabric because it's layered. But if you take it apart, it looks like mesh. It looks like very, very thin mesh. So it's going to just give it a little bit of a shimmer. It's not really going to stand out or be to pink. It's going to give this wreath a very elegant look. And of course the cross wreath is from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to start with the fabric. The fabric is 12 inches in width right here. And I'm just going to cut it in half into six inch strips. Our shelf liners are going to be six inches by about seven and a half. So the fabric is going to be six by eight. I got my fabric all cut up. Now it's time to get the shelf liner going. As you can see, your shelf liner will come in 12 inches at the Dollar Tree and you want to cut it in half. I used to unfold it all the way before, but you know what? The shelf liner from Dollar Tree is so thin and look at the line. Nice, perfect, even line, nothing frizzy. So this works just as well. Next, I'm going to take the shelf liner and I'm just going to cut it in half and in half and in half and in half. I'm not someone who would waste any and uh, this is how I always make it. So I just fold it in half and you want to cut this until you get a rectangle that's about six inches by seven and a half inches. And then here you go, you have six inches by seven and a half, almost eight inches. And that is how quick we are done with our first roll. I'm going to do the same thing with the second half. And that's it, this roll is done. I'm going to continue cutting the rest of the shelf liners and I will be right back. These are the pipe cleaners that are always in my description box and also in my Amazon shop. They are six inch zip ties and I find them to be perfect for pretty much anything I do. I'm going to start with the bottom of the wreath. I always kind of come up and then do all the sections on top. Let's get started. So you have two options to do for uh, the bow. You can either do it this way, bringing up. I usually do this if I'm working with a wreath that has three rows and then you would just attach it and it would make a thick kind of wreath. I like using it this way. So let me grab a piece of fabric here. I know the fabric is fairly sheer, but just wait till I'm done with the bow. It's going to be so beautiful. And I'm just going to find my center and come up look how pretty the bow is i hope you guys can see the shimmer in it it's so pretty then i'm going to grab my zip tie and we are going to be filling in these two middle rows i zip tie it almost to the end but not quite i do want to make sure that everything is centered and that's when i'm going to just bring it together on top just like this, and then zip tie it in place. Here is what it looks like so far. I'm going to fill in this section and I'll be right back. There you go. I am done with the first section. I have 14 here and now I'm just going to go around cutting off all the tails from the zip ties here and there you go i think i have room to add another pair right here this looks pretty filled to me so i'm going to move on to the next section and keep on going the wreath is all done and i am absolutely loving it with this fabric i'm sure the camera doesn't show how it is in person 
Um, but I will add the fabric in the description box that I got at Joan Fabrics. Now, one thing I want to show you is because you're going in two rows here. If you have holes like this, all you have to do is just crisscross them and you should not have much issues with it because this is supposed to be a liner it's supposed to catch on to each other and look at that i did that a few seconds ago and it's fine there's no holes here and i just would sporadically just go throughout like that and uh just grab one end bring it to this side the other one bring it to that side smooth it over and there you go and now let's do the embellishment for the center of the cross, I'm going to be making a bow starting with this beautiful rose ribbon that I got at Craft Outlet. I'm going to make a long tail. I'm making it 14 inches. And then here I'm going to start twisting. This is a one-sided ribbon, so you do want to twist. I'm going to make this loop five inches, bring it to this side, and then I'm going to twist. Take it to five inches here. If you want, you can definitely do it by hand, but I love using the bow maker. You can find these bow makers for 10 to $12 on Amazon. They're not expensive and they are a huge help when you're making these bows. And as I'm completing my loop, I'm going to do a twist here. This next ribbon I got from Michaels during their after Christmas sale. And here I'm going to do the same thing. Twist right away because this is a one-sided ribbon. I'm going to continue making five inch loops with this ribbon also and twist. For the final ribbon, I'm using this elegant pink and it's by Ofre and I got it at the Dollar Tree. And this ribbon doesn't really have a side, so you can just go ahead and just make the loops here. To bring this bow together, I'm sneaking a zip tie in. And because this is a fairly thick bow right here, I'm just going to zip tie it in place. Now I'm going to start opening my bow up. I grabbed the 20 gauge floral wire, fed it through the back of the zip tie, and now I'm going to attach it to the cross, and then I'm going to proceed to mess with the bow and just make sure that it looks nice. Find my center here, give it a few twists here. With the wire that's left over, I'm going to make a loop right here, just as you see, and then I'm going to Put that loop through the bar over here, lock it in, and that is how I'm going to hang this wreath. I'm going to just dove all the tails. At this point, you could be done with the wreath. I, of course, you know me, I have to ribbon tail them. Fold in half, pinch, and bring back. Fold in half, pinch, and bring back. And I'm going to do the same thing with this cute little pink one. Pinch and bring back. Just lay it out nicely. I have to mention this pink ribbon that I'm using from the Dollar Tree. It's the first time I'm using it. And I have to say that wire is so super thin. I just, I don't know, it's a little bit too thin almost. <music> 